blessings. This morning, assorted stories will be mentioned, so stick around for the news in detail. In the meantime, if you are new to the channel and it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way there, so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel on this channel and also remember to give this video a like like always for youtube algorithm blessings and more beatitude intro soon forward Starting things off in St. Catherine with an update. 18 year old Kenesha Hamilton, the St. Catherine mother of three months old Roshane Hall, is now expressing frustration. Kenesha is the mother whose baby was stolen from her home earlier this month and later found in St. James, said she is now having problems in getting her child back from the home where the infant is being kept. Kenesha said that despite getting a letter from the St. Catherine Children's Court on a Wednesday, she was denied the chance to take her son home. According to Kenesha, she went to the court and a DNA result proved that she is the biological mother. She was then given a letter that should have granted her access for the custody of her child. She went on to say that she took the letter to the home in St. James where the child has been kept. Upon her arrival, she was told that she cannot get the child. She said during ongoing conversations, she was then told that the baby will have to stay until February 8th for a court hearing in St. James. It all started almost two weeks into the new year when the news went viral on social media. On January 10th, it was said that a 15-year-old friend of the mother snatched the baby boy from his home in Horizon Park, Spanish Town St. Catherine, and drove away with the baby in a waiting motor vehicle. The matter was later reported to the Spanish Town Police Department in which an investigation launched. The Jamaica Constabulary Force would have taken further steps by publishing a missing person report. On receiving valid intel on January 10th, Shortly after 11.30 a.m., investigation was expanded to Cambridge District in the parish of St. James, where three-month-old Malik was found in the company of the 15-year-old, the once friend of his mother who is 18-year-old Kenesha Hamilton. And accolades to this Samaritan from St. James because search and rescue was assisted by a father and son of a couple would address in St. James who saw the photo of the missing baby on social media and immediately had a flashback that they had seen a teenage girl with a child fitting the description of that on their display. So they conducted their own investigations and discovered that the child was indeed rushing Malik Hall. They reportedly brought the teen and the baby to the Cambridge police station and handed them over to the police. The 15-year-old teen was arrested and charged with abducting a child or child stealing. She has since made two court appearances and has been remanded to a place of safety. When the news broke that three-month-old Roshane had been found, the grandfather, which is Kenesha's dad, he was overjoyed. So fast forward to today's issue at hand, the mother of the child, Kenesha Hamilton, is now confused and clueless because she has another 10 days to know when she will be reunited with her child who is now in the state care. When the media sought clarification concerning the matter, Detective Inspector Balvi Thomas, Crime Officer for the St. Catherine North Police Division, said he was working to have the issue resolved. He assured the mother that his office will continue supporting her and by next week, they should have been able to, um, to tell her something positive. So this is what the mother, Kenesha Hamilton, and Detective Inspector Balvi Thomas has to say. Be attentive. 
So we shall move it and we give them the letter and the woman come back out. Then she are ready to be able to call the baby of court and mobile, which is we never know about that through the court, a Spanish family you know about that and the police station. Nobody never know about that and the message. The one baby missing from mobile and it could have been my baby, so the baby has to come to court. I am in dialogue with my counterpart in St. James and we are in dialogue with the court because in my opinion this matter should be before the St. Catherine court in my opinion and we are working to have that done so that the matter can be resolved. I am saying to the mother of the child we are continue to give in you our support and we know that you must feel some discomfort because you went to St. James and, and was unable to see your child. But I'm saying to you, it, was, it will be resolved. The child is in state care and by next week, we should be able to tell you something positive. That was Detective Inspector Balvi Thomas. He is the crime officer for the St. Catherine North Police Division. So we are still in sync with Kingston and St. Catherine, where one person was eliminated in a West Street explosion by relics. In that incident, one person has been confirmed and pronounced duh after explosions were heard along West Street in Kingston yesterday afternoon. The identity of the deceased has not yet been ascertained. I have the video, cannot be shown on YouTube. The action adventure happened about 4.55 p.m. when relics approached a group of men and discharged a few rounds at them. After the relics fled, five persons received what they didn't ask for. One of them was pronounced from that surprise delivery. That is my number on your display. You can WhatsApp me for the video footage. And as we continue to browse throughout Kingston, we are now looking at a case file where a nurse has now been charged with attempted butchering. The accused male is Said Rampasard, otherwise called Cooley, a 35-year-old registered nurse from Walkway 34 in Brayton, Phase 2, Portmore, St. Catherine. He has been charged arising from an incident involving a woman on Beeston Street in downtown Kingston on January 20. He was charged by the Denham Town Police on a Friday. It has been confirmed by the police that on January 10, at about 10.30 p.m., Rampa Sardu had a knife, held on to a woman by her hair, and then used the weapon to pierce her several times. The woman was assisted to a medical facility where she was treated. The incident was reported to the police and an investigation launched. Rampa Sardu was later picked up and charged after a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. He is scheduled to appear before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court next week. And as we take a look at Clarendon, we're in the community of Croftsdale. And it has been reported to us that 14-year-old Daniela Winter is said to have gone missing for over 10 days. Her mother is accusing the police of negligence. As she went on to say, the police told her that they will not help in the searching process for her daughter, her own child whom she said to have gone missing for the first time. According to her, the police have not budged despite being provided with information about where the child is likely to be and with whom. The man was last seen 10 days ago at home in Croftsdale getting ready for school, the James Hill based Claude McKay High School which is also located in Clarendon. She was dressed in brown tunic and yellow blouse. She did not show up for classes. So anyone with information on the child's whereabouts is being asked to contact the Crossville Police at 876-966-7333. The Police 119 emergency number is also available or the nearest police station in your vicinity. So there you have it. And please do remember that if you're new to the channel and it is your first time over here, subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel on this channel and also remember to give this video a like like always for youtube algorithm blessings and more beatitude thank you for watching stay safe